You're watching the Liberty Panther Sports Network Halftime Show. Welcome to the Halftime Show with Joe Roberts on the Liberty Panther Sports Network. And we're going to do this a little differently than I normally do it. I normally sit down with one person, but I'm blessed to have three different people, three different students representing different organizations on the Liberty High School campus. And we're going to start first with the Liberty High School Theater Department. Kirsten Riley, senior, you're on the, uh, the theater board and all that good stuff. What's good in the theater world at LHS? Well, right now we are getting ready to perform our fall show, which I'm directing, so I'm super oh. excited about that. We have started doing practices, and I'm just really excited for everyone to see this. Perfect. Do you uh, remember the name of those shows? Are oh. You <laughs> um, the first show that we're doing is called Under Jekyll's Hyde. Okay. And then the second show is going to be afterwards. It's called The Invisible Man. So you get two shows in one night. So you're telling me that someone can come to the auditorium... Mm -hmm. Purchase one ticket and get two shows? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> All right, so tell me more about the shows. Everyone in class involved? Are people coming from outside? What are we doing? Uh, we have our shows are basically based around people in the classroom just to see what our new incoming freshmen have to offer so we can advance further on with them. Uh, this is just to see how everyone is. And I just can't wait for everyone to see the great talent that we have this year. And when will everyone get to see this great talent? Uh, we have decided that this will be on the Friday of October. That is the 20th. So I think that's the 26th. Off the top of my head. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can. I'll, maybe I can go back and add a date on here. That's, Please. that's okay. That's <laughs> yes. okay. All right. Uh, it's going to be around Halloween weekend, though. That's yes. for sure. And when they walk into the auditorium, are they just going to walk on in, or are they going to be able to donate to the theater department, or how are they going to do Oh, that? yes, please. There will be a table set up for donations for the theater department. It will help us out greatly for one act season. So Awesome. Amazing. You have been listening to Kirsten Riley on the theater board. Any other theater news before I let you go? Uh, not as right now. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> I love that for you. All right, now get out of here. <laughs> Okay, next up we have Alyssa Taylor, and she is going to be representing the LHS Prancers. Is that right? Yes. Okay, all right, let's see if we can get our – are we good over there? I got our trusted cameraman, Grant Burgos, over here getting a great shot. All right, Alyssa, you are all dolled up today. Why are you, uh, why are you all dressed up to the because nines? Because on Wednesday for Prancers, we do this thing where it's called Dress for Success. Mm -hmm. So every Wednesday we dress business casual, you know, no ripped jeans, no Crocs. You know, you're just dressing nice. Okay, I'm good. Just making sure I didn't have ripped <laughs> jeans or Crocs on. All right, so tell me about the Prancers. Is it, what, is, what is the Prancer thing? So Prancers is the Liberty High School dance team. We dance at pep rallies. We dance at football games. We have our own little shows. We have Spring Show, which the theater department does become a part of. Oh, all right. Great. I love that. <laughs> and we also have a winter recital, which is mainly about Prince Rich, which is like little girls doing dance. Mm -hmm. And so that's like a fundraiser for us. We do that. So we just have like a bunch of different things and stuff like that. Oh, and stuff like that. I love that. It's very informative. <laughs> All right, so where can one watch the Liberty High School Prancers? Um, we have a Facebook and an Instagram and a TikTok. <laughs> okay, you've got a TikTok. So you are definitely official. Yes. All right, now if I wanted to see you live and in person, where could I watch you? Well, if you want to go to the football games, then you could either come to our home stadium or wherever we're playing that week, or if you want to come to a show, it's mainly at the auditorium. Okay, so on Friday nights, you guys are at the stadium, on the road and at home, and you're doing your thing out there in the stands, on the field, you get a halftime portion, right, with the band? So what, I don't know how, how to ask this question correctly, what show are you working on? Is there a particular music that y'all are choreographing to, or what? For like spring show? No, for right now, for the Friday night stuff. For Friday nights, we're doing Impressions Like It. I think that's the name of it. Mm -hmm. But we like dance with streamers. And then our next one will be Counting Stars, and that's like a kick routine. Okay. So the Prancers are really known for that kick line, right? That's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Because of you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if I went out there, would I be allowed to be on the kick line? 
Uh, okay. You said you said too much already. Okay, <laughs> Alyssa Taylor, Liberty High School Prancers, dashing my dreams. <laughs> Can't be on the kick line. All right, thank you. Now you get out of here. All right, now finally, last but certainly not least, Charlie Jones with the Liberty High School cheerleading squad, varsity squad, right? Yes. Okay, Charlie. <sighs> I may regret this. All right, tell me about the cheerleaders. What's what's going on? What's up well, with that? we just finished one of our one of my favorite fundraisers. We had pre-K through sixth graders come to the gym. We taught them some of our cheers, and I think at the next football game they're going to perform with us during third quarter. Awesome. So, as a cheerleader, what are you guys doing during the week, not on Friday nights? Um, we practice right now just on Mondays because games just started on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. We just finished our pep rally routine for this Friday. Um, we should start our next one next week. You're just full of cool information. All right, now the real question, when you're at practice, what, is, what does that mean? Are y'all just jumping around and doing cartwheels the entire time, or what are you doing? Well, we... Um, we start with, you know, jumps and stretching and stuff. We go over what we need to go over, and usually by the end of it, it, it is just tumbling and doing flips. If we have enough time at the end, we're most of the time always tumbling. All right, so I just asked Alyssa about the Prancers. They're known for this kick line. I've heard the term flyer before, right? I feel pretty confident that I got the body of a flyer, right? Okay. Don't, don't answer that. Okay, so if I'm not a flyer, what would I be? Um, well, if you I'm say a spectator, I'm going to be so angry. Okay, what? You you could probably be a back spot. I'm a base, so I'm on the side of the flyer. A back spot? What does that mean? You get behind them. So no one sees me. You hold you hold the stun up. You're the glue. No, I would definitely hold the stun up. So would crash. You'd be the glue. Right there. No, not glue. I would be. I don't know what I would be, but I wouldn't need to be anywhere near that. So you're a base. Yes. So what does that mean? Um, well, I'm a main base, so I'm always on the Just right like, side. Oops, 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 like that? I'm always on the right side, so when we do stunts where the flyer has one leg up, I'm holding the leg that's staying down. Uh, side base kind of just like assists me on the other side. Have you ever been talking to someone and they say these terms that are so cool and so amazing, but you can tell the person that's listening has no idea what you're talking about? This face right here, that's the one that has no idea what you just said. It sounds amazing, though. I love it. It's amazing. Right. I love it. So tell me about how does your organization work with these other organizations on Friday night? Because there's a lot of people on the sideline. So do you and the Prancers, do y'all have, like, throwdowns and stuff? I mean, do y'all share space? What's going on with that? Um, Alyssa, don't talk off stage. We um, usually ride the bus with the Prancers, okay. and sometimes during games, if the Prancers have a new dance, mm -hmm. um, we try to copy them. Even, like, we, we do try to steal their spotlight, even okay. if we look okay. not Oh, she, Alyssa's over there. She's starting to fume a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we never look prepared when we're trying to copy them, but it is really fun. And by the end of it, we usually figure it out. And you guys have just an awesome time with everyone out there. Yes. Prancers and the cheerleaders, you guys are out there with the flag runners, and y'all are just trying to hype up the crowd, right? Yes, no, it's so much day. fun. Okay, Charlie Jones, LHS Varsity Cheerleader. I'm Joe Roberts, if you care at all. You have been watching the halftime show on the Liberty Panther Sports Network. Coming up next... The second half against Concordia.